In here is Keller Smith's uh, very first contact lens prototype. Floating in the jar in Gabrielle Massoni's hands is the result of years of hard work and innovation. The latest step for an idea that began with the 28 year old's own experience. When I was little, I had uh, an eye condition called amblyopia and it made me lose vision in one of my eyes. When she started studying chemistry at Dalhousie University, the idea hit to tackle color blindness and help the thousands of people whose lives are limited because of it. You know, everyone knows pilot, but like electricians, you know, RCMP officers, like there's all these jobs that you just can't get if you're color vision deficient. Here is normal vision. That's deuteranopia. Her plan? Develop contact lenses with a special light filtering coating, allowing wearers to see every color of the rainbow. I mean, not everyone wants to walk around in tinted glasses, you know. I mean, we all love Bono, but no one wants to look like him all day. <laughs> she launched her Halifax-based company, Colorsmith Labs, and has scientists at St. Mary's University working on making her dream happen using nanoparticle technology. It hasn't been tested on people yet, but they're getting there. So we've made the functional nanoparticles, which is super exciting. And uh, we're just optimizing them, but we are um, in the testing phase of actually starting to put them in contact lenses. And Colorsmith is getting closer. Just one major investment away from turning this into this. We're going to need $1.5 million. That investment would give Masoni the funds she needs to contract a contact lens manufacturer and finally make them for people to test in clinical trials. For an innovator that's already come this far, the goal of helping everyone see in full color is just on the horizon. Heidi Petrachik, CTV News, Halifax.